Welcome to The Casting Couch, the show that gives hidden talent in South Florida exposure. I'm your host, Keith Harrell, and on today's show, we're going to help you make a better you. Coming to the couch, we have life coach Cassandra Roach and etiquette coach Vernon Motsley. Stay tuned. It's a soul flow thing. Shot in beautiful Miami, the casting couch is the perfect backdrop. The casting couch is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. What makes the casting couch unique is that it's totally interactive. Social media driven. Tweet us and like us on Facebook at Casting Couch TV. You can also watch past and current episodes by logging on to thecastingcouchtv.com. Casting Couch TV, uncovering South Florida's hidden talent. APAC, the African American Performing Arts Community Theater, has produced powerful and thought-provoking plays and musicals in South Florida since 2001. This not-for-profit theater company encouraged seasoned as well as amateur actors to audition for future productions. Please visit APAC at www.apac.com for more details. APAC, building better communities through theater. In 2004, The Casting Couch was introduced as a live Sunday night event that showcased national and international talent. Although the show was geared towards individuals establishing a performing arts community, Casting Couch has evolved to be a show about hidden talent in South Florida. In 2012, the idea of The Casting Couch was revisited with vigor. Slightly tweaked, The Casting Couch TV show focused primarily on the entertainment industry as it pertained to South Florida. Shot in beautiful Miami, this show is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. Although the main premise is focused on entertainment, the show will discuss social issues that affect Miami society. Welcome back. My first guest is the CEO of Inspire Many. She's a popular speaker and founder of Resolution Retreat, the nation's largest gathering of professional women business owners. She has been featured on Women's Day, Black Enterprise, Ebony, Essence, and on BET. And now she's here to help you build a better you. Cast and Couch family, please give a warm welcome to Cassandra Roach. Hey! hey. <laughs> what is going on? How are you? Oh, well, you know, the fact that we're by the water, I'm absolutely amazing. You love this amazing. place? You love I my set? I love it. I love your set. This looks gorgeous, That's Keith. what I'm talking about, <laughs> jokes on the beach. That's, that's, that's where we are right that's now. That's it. You know, I was looking at some of your things, and I was like, I got to get her on this show. I appreciate because you. Because it's a lot of people out there that's hurting. Mm. Yeah. and your company is doing a lot to help them. Mm -hmm. First of all, can I call you Coach? You could call me Coach Cass. Coach Cass, that's yes, right. Yes, yes, yes. Not Coach. <laughs> coach Cass. <laughs> what is a life coach? Okay, so a life coach, which is separate from a psychologist, mainly life coaches are focused on the positive 
of where you are now to where you want to be and the steps in order to get there. Very simply, think of yourself in a football game. You already have the talent, but I'm here to help you tweak that talent and help you run the plays so that we could both celebrate in the end zone. Really? Yeah. I like that. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Oh, in terms of life coaching? Well, in terms of just who you are. Oh, I think everybody want to know because if they have a life coach, they want to know who is this life coach and what is she about? Oh, what am I about? Well, yeah. I'm about long walks on the beach. <laughs> I, I love traveling. I recently went to Africa really? and that was an amazing experience. A 23 hour flight, wow. talking to people in villages. I literally love having fun, if that makes sense. That's, that that's like really it, my life on a daily basis. It energize you. Seeking the fun in life on a daily basis. I yeah. hear that. I hear that. Where are you originally from? Oh, well, my family is from Jamaica, uh -huh. you know, and I'm from Jamaica, Queens. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> but uh, yes, yeah, so I have the island side and I have the New Yorker side and now right. relocated to sunny South Florida. So I think it's the best, the nearest thing to island life. There you go. Yeah. I, I, well, we love that you are here. Mm -hmm. uh, we love that you are doing what you're doing and helping folks out there. How can we help people build a better you or build a better of themselves? How okay. can we do that? All right. So one thing I find oftentimes is um, individuals, they want to do something more. They're complaining about they don't make enough money. They can't lose the weight. They can't find a man or a woman or, you know, they're, they're not happy. Right. But yet they still do the same thing over and over and right. over again, right? And looking so they, for a different result. Exactly. Insane. Which is insa insanity. <laughs> Absolutely, right? So they, they go to work and they come home, they get the kids ready for bed, for school, and that's about it. That's, that's life on a daily basis. So the biggest thing is you have to change what you're doing. Right. Literally, you have to stop and think and you have to change what you're doing. I call it setting the standard. So number one, you literally have to set your standard. So if you're not happy with the relationship that you're in, if you're not ha happy with your financial situation, if you're not happy with your weight or where you're going, you have to set the standard of what you want. And that's literally how these vision boards come into play, wow. right? So setting the visual on a daily basis. And literally for me, I remember I was in a toxic relation Keith, relationship, Keith, literally every single day I was sick to my stomach losing weight I think I was down to like a size two it wow. was a horrible situation and I know many people that have been in that place you know right. been in that horrible situation and not know how to get out of it and it wasn't until I literally created a vision for my relationships what I wanted even though I was in a situation that I couldn't see my way out right. I created a vision for it you know I put the pictures together I put the words together and I looked at that every day right. and literally right now I can tell you I I was in the kitchen one day and um, my boyfriend at the time this is a new relationship okay mm -hmm. my boyfriend at the time um, I was cooking and I looked back at him and I looked back at my vision board and I looked back at him and I looked back at my vision board and I said oh my goodness you have on the same exact shirt as the guy in my vision board. It was the wow. same color. It was the same stature. It was the same person. And I, I started to tear up because I was just like, wow, it really is true. Like Napoleon Hill says, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, mm. it can achieve, you know? So really wow. when you put those things out there, I say God, some people say the universe, you know? Mm -hmm. But when you put those things out there, they really do come true. So in building a better you, you have to number one, set the standard. A lot of athletes, mm -hmm. they say that. Yeah. They envision themselves winning. They envision themselves getting to a certain point and elevating themselves you know I, I think that that's um, something that should come natural to people but a lot of people don't know that no they don't know that or they don't experience that mm -hmm. so you help them bring that out exactly so many times people are unclear of what they want they just want to, they know they just don't want this, right? right? Whatever you're in, I just know I want to make more money. But how much money do you want to make? I, I get that all the time with clients. Hey, Coach Cass, you know, I just want to make more money. Well, what's your number? Mm -hmm. You literally have to set that vision in place. Okay, so if you want to make 150000 next year, you got to write that down. Then you got to back it out. How right. many clients do you need? What do you need to do? How hard do you have to work? You know, you make those things real versus saying more money should just fall from the sky, right? <laughs> That's almost like when people talk about prayer, you know, mm. and they, they, they pray, say, hey, I just want to be happy. No, mm -hmm. you have to be specific. Right. Sometimes when you want certain Very things, specific. you have to be specific and say, this is the things that I want and this is where I should be. Exactly. You know, I, I, I think that it's incredible 
of what you're doing and how it all came about. Mm. Tell us a little bit about Inspire Many. Okay, so how in Inspire Many came about, essentially I was working a job, nine to five, real upset, walking into the job, <laughs> Like, man, you know, bored. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been bored on a job. Like, okay, it just becomes a robotic type of thing. Just, right. Like, there has to be more in life. We all have this innate greatness within us that literally we want to do more. Right. But in that space that I was in, there was nothing more to be done. Mm. And then I came home and I looked at my paycheck. I had a master's in public health. Looking at my paycheck, like, literally, I was making about $10 an hour. I'm like, this, this, there's got to be more. It's not going to work. There, there, this isn't going to work. You there know, you this is not it. And it wasn't until I literally, wanted to go on a trip to Jamaica to visit my grandmother and I told my boss hey boss you know I want to go visit my grandmother you know in the next couple months I really set my schedule and what's going on in the office so you know it's okay right. she said well let me know two weeks before <laughs> I don't know if you've ever booked a flight to Jamaica but if you wait till two weeks before it's a very expensive flight yes it and is. on ten dollars an hour that's not going to work there you so go. that's really where I started to say you know what I have to own my own time I have to be able to have that plan B I have to be able to do what I want when I want, you know, and mm -hmm. that's really where it came down to. It's like I need to start something different. And I looked at an entrepreneur magazine. I don't know if you subscribe, but it's a great magazine, yeah. entrepreneur magazine. And they were talking about the upcoming fields, the, the popular fields. And one of them was coaching. Wow. And I said, well, wait a second. This is kind of what I do already. You know, nutrition, lifestyle, healthier life. I do this. Right. So I looked more into it. I did get certified as a coach. And then literally I ended up starting my practice after complaining to a friend. It usually just takes that one person to kind of slap you around. Wow. And, and, and that must be a very good friend. But I tell mm -hmm. you what, Coach Cass, mm -hmm. I, I, I like what you're saying and I like what you're doing. Can you hang out with us just a little bit? Yeah. Because what, what, what you're saying is very important. I think it's going to segue into what we're going to do next. Okay. But before we leave, where can people find your information? InspireMany.com. Literally on every social media across the nation, across the world, I'm Inspire Many on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. InspireMany.com, life coaching for women. Essentially, I'm looking for those women who are absolutely overwhelmed by life and have no clarity on where to go, or they just need a little bit of support to get it done. All right. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Well, I tell you what, now that we help your interior, when we come back, we're going to work on your exterior. We'll be right back. This is the Casting Couch. It's a soul flow thing. Shot in beautiful Miami, the Casting Couch is the perfect backdrop. The Casting Couch is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. What makes the Casting Couch unique is that it's totally interactive. social media driven. Tweet us and like us on Facebook at Casting Couch TV. You can also watch past and current episodes by logging on to thecastingcouchtv.com. Casting Couch TV. Uncover South Florida's hidden talent. APAC, the African American Performing Arts Community Theater, has produced powerful and thought-provoking plays and musicals in South Florida since 2001. This not-for-profit theater company encouraged seasoned as well as amateur actors to audition for future productions. Please visit APAC at www.apac.com for more details. APAC, building better communities through theater. In 2004, The Casting Couch was introduced as a live Sunday night event that showcased national and international talent. Although the show was geared towards individuals establishing a performing arts community, Casting Couch has evolved to be a show about hidden talent in South Florida. In 2012, the idea of The Casting Couch was revisited with vigor. Slightly tweaked, The Casting Couch TV show focused primarily on the entertainment industry as it pertained to South Florida. 
shot in beautiful Miami, this show is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. Although the main premise is focused on entertainment, the show will discuss social issues that affect Miami society. Welcome back. Remember to follow us on Twitter at Cast and Couch TV and find us online at thecastandcouchtv.com. My next guest is no stranger to style and fashion. He is the founder and president of the Dudley Dickens School of Etiquette, where manners are not mere words, but a way of life. Cast and Couch family, help me welcome Vernon Moxie to the couch. <laughs> hey, what's up, baby? What's up? Everything what's up? good? Great, great, great. Man, great, great. it's great to finally get you on the couch and it's great to be here i mean i've been waiting i don't know how long and i'm like when it, in fact if you guys didn't know he put this together nice. all righty now i don't know if you was watching but coach Cass, she came out and she told us about the interior right and what we need to do to fix the interior and one of the things that you were saying is you got to set your standard right so Let's talk about the exterior. All right. Because usually people, when they see, they, you know, they see themselves, they, they feel good about themselves. Of course. It all depends on what they're wearing, though. Now, I know you see some misfits out there. So <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself, first of all, and then we'll get into all the meat and potatoes. Okay. Well, I, I'm from the Bahamas, Freeport, Bahamas. Um, Dudley Dickens School of Etiquette. We're based in Midtown, Miami, heart of the city. Um, we've been around. We're in a few colleges. We're at the Marino campus. and all of the Miami-Dade campuses oh, nice. um, we're into imaging consulting and building a better person. Oh, okay. Um, well, that's we, why we're here. That's why we're here. To build a better you. Yes, that's indeed. That's what we're trying to do for our audience out there because it's a lot of broken people and it's a lot of people that really just don't know. So, you know, we look on social media and you see some fashion misfits or just some things that just don't go. How do you feel about that? I mean, what do you do when you see that? Do you say, man, I, I really wish I can help that person? I do. I, I think a lot of it is, is getting people to master the basics. And that's what I always say. Before you go out and buy that pink suit, not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, we live in Florida. You know, before you go out and buy that pink suit with the orange bow tie and the purple socks and stuff like that, I always say it's good to master the basics. Um, and building a basic wardrobe, I mean, just like yourself, you start with... Um, a pair of gray slacks, you can't go wrong. Right. I think that's the basic foundation of a wardrobe. Um, a white shirt or a French blue shirt, uh, you know, and you can mix those up with different color now, ties. Now when you say French, mm. for the people who don't know out there, what, what, is, what is French? French blue is a, a darker version of the shirt that you're wearing today. Um, I think it's important because, especially with living in South Florida, you have the elements of, you know, the sun, the heat and the, the humidity and stuff. And so it can take a beating as far as sweat. You can, you can the one the risk of not having a ring around the collar. Right. Um, it lasts longer. It actually keeps up a, a more stiff approach as opposed to going with a traditional white. Um, I always say, if you're gonna go bold, let your ties do the, the talking. Right. Um, I'm an advocate and a proponent of pocket squares. I, I, you're always, as a pocket, you always have a pocket square on. Right. Um, I say, learn the different folds. You have the puff. Um, you have what they call the, the presidential, right. which would be your square. And, um, and then you have the flower. And I say once you master those right there, um, you, you're on your way to building a basic wardrobe, which will actually build a better person. Because you feel good when you dress up, don't you? That is true. That is true. And that's something that I always said. You know, uh, before school starts, we always take kids out to get their hair cut. Correct. You know, we have a bunch of nonprofit organizations that we work with and we gather these kids up and we get their haircuts because we have learned that when a child feel, looks good, they feel good and they behave better and they do better in school. You know, so I, I'm a true advocate of that, that, hey, it, it's good to look good. Now, what about our young ladies out there? Well, now, women, I would, I would say, especially in the progressive age that we live in now, you have business suits, 
um, that you can always get have tailored and structured. I say it's important to have a nice gray business suit. Um, you always want to have that black dress and you know where you can go from business to evening and hit happy see, hour. See Coach Coach like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I say if you're gonna have fun, let your pumps do the the talking. It's funny that you you say that because now the platform shoes are you know coming into the workplace and before it used to be you got to wear your stockings, you know your hosiery and all the rest of the stuff and you're wearing flats. Right. But now you're seeing the you know skirts a little shorter. Is that just a sign of the times or, or what? I always say know your field. So if you know which field you're going into and what area you're going into, you know how to dress appropriate. But times are changing and, you know, workplaces are becoming more hip. It's more of a expressive age. So I, I always say um, etiquette is just a, a way of actually knowing how to step out without offending people. So, you know, you, you can go. do it in your clothing, too. Now, if people want to get in contact with you for yeah. motivational speaking mm -hmm. or anything like that, where can they reach you? You can reach us at DudleyDickens.net or the telephone number at our office, 786-514-2976. Awesome, awesome. And Coach Cass, where can they find you? Okay, well, if somebody's ready to turn their vision into reality because that boyfriend from the vision board became the fiance, we're getting married. Wow. <laughs> well, give him a shout out. Hey, Andy Enriquez, he does dress like this, fine as can be. So oh, you can find me <laughs> and him, inspiremany.com. Awesome. That is awesome. Well, I want to thank both of you for coming on. Hopefully we gave some people some help out there mm -hmm. to build a better you. Yes. Um, I, like thank I said, I, I thought that it would be very, very important because, like I said, the misfits are out there. <laughs> and we're trying to help people. That's why we're, we're here. We're trying to help exactly. people here on the Casting Couch. So thank you again for coming on. We really appreciate it. It's a soul flow thing. Shot in beautiful Miami, the Casting Couch is the perfect backdrop. The Casting Couch is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. What makes the Casting Couch unique is that it's totally interactive. Social media driven. Tweet us and like us on Facebook at Casting Couch TV. You can also watch past and current episodes by logging on to thecastingcouchtv.com. Casting Couch TV, uncovering South Florida's hidden talent. APAC, the African American Performing Arts Community Theater, has produced powerful and thought-provoking plays and musicals in South Florida since 2001. This not-for-profit theater company encouraged seasoned as well as amateur actors to audition for future productions. Please visit APAC at www.apac.com for more details. APAC, building better communities through theater. In 2004, The Casting Couch was introduced as a live Sunday night event that showcased national and international talent. Although the show was geared towards individuals establishing a performing arts community, Casting Couch has evolved to be a show about hitting talent in South Florida. In 2012, the idea of The Casting Couch was revisited with vigor. Slightly tweaked, The Casting Couch TV show focused primarily on the entertainment industry as it pertained to South Florida. Shot in beautiful Miami, this show is designed to give hidden talent in South Florida exposure. Although the main premise is focused on entertainment, the show will discuss social issues that affect Miami society. Thank you for coming on. We really appreciate it, man. You guys said me. everything that I wanted to tell people. 
On next week's show, we'll have two amazing women making a difference here in South Florida, Donata Joseph and Andrea Ivory. I created Facebook and Twitter and came up with the name Adding Doses of Hope Daily and started pushing out information about ADHD, things that children should eat, what time they should go to sleep, um, how to communicate with the school. It's exciting. Um, the Women's Breast Health Initiative, of course, targets women and we are a women's health worth organization. Uh, we have this year integrated heart disease because it is the leading cause of death in women, not breast cancer. Until then, remember, it's your world. I'm just here to televise it. <laughs>